How's it going, YouTubers? Um, I just bought the Code 49. I think it's a great keyboard, ultimately. Uh, it's pretty powerful as far as being a controller and just giving you a lot of options in that department. Um, I use Fruity Loops, and I had a big problem finding anybody that could give me a quick tutorial on YouTube on how to get this thing to just sync up with that and get me going. Uh, it took me a long time to actually get going on Fruity Loops. I had the keyboard for like a day and a half of fiddling with it before I found something that worked and I liked. Um, first, you gotta get the Code 49 preset editor. As soon as you get that, you'll notice that it has all your options here. You just click on what you wanna change and it gives you an array of options that you can change. Um, you do have to do some looking into the manual to find out what all these things do. Uh, there is a good amount of reading that goes along with this, but I have a feeling it's pretty intuitive once you figure out what every button does and all that kind of thing. So um, all the banks are you know, I tried to keep them on different channels and that kind of thing, uh, just so that everything would, you know, basically when you go into Fruity Loops, you can do different things at the same time. You know, have the pads associated with the FPC and have the keys associated with the synth that you're playing or whatever. But um, you get a number of different things you can change on here. And ultimately I had to change a lot of them I, uh, what I did was I went into, I went into Fruity Loops and I changed the control on the Code 49 to, everybody was telling me to use Mackie Control Universal and ultimately the Universal never worked for me. I had a, I had a big problem with that. It never sunk up with the M audio the way I wanted it to, but they do have some M audio presets in Fruity Loops. The one I chose was M audio, you know, um, oxygen and, uh, the oxygen keyboard actually had pretty much the same thing going on with the keys. So I already had the keys imprinted into it which was nice. Then I just sent that to this. I sent it to the preset editor so that all the keys were all set up. And then I pretty much just built the board from there on out. I uh, changed all the pads to whatever channels were available and whatever I could just sync them to. And um, then I changed all the faders. I changed everything just so that they all had their own channel. And then when I sent that, basically once you get what you like, you uh, name it. I named mine Fruity, just so that when it would, you know, pop up on the keyboard, I knew what was going on. And uh, uh, you basically save your preset once you like it, and you can load your preset at any time, which is nice. And then uh, you just uh, send your preset to the keyboard. So once I changed all of these things, and I mean, you can pause it for a minute and try to see, I don't know if my my graphics are actually good enough to give you all the numbers in detail, but, um, you know, basically if there was a bunk channel, sometimes I would just keep using a channel that made sense because it was in sequence with what I had, but it was just assigned to something else or it was just tripping out the machinery. It was just having a confusion. And, um, so I would just use a different channel. I would just get rid of that channel and replace it with something else that worked and uh, built my board from that. And then, so all of these independently have something that just has nothing else assigned to it. And then um, you basically send the preset to the keyboard and you have to do this before you go into Fruity Loops. Okay, okay. By the way, I was around when Fruity Loops was like, you know, like new, so 
I still call it Fruity Loops for some reason instead of FL Studio. Sorry. I hope that's not a licensing thing. And um, so basically, you want to send it over to your keyboard by sending preset. You just send via RAM. And for some reason, it's not working. Oh, <laughs> because I haven't loaded my preset. My bad. So as you can see, I just labeled it FL Studio. This is the one that you should probably pause it right now and just get it, you know, see how I set mine up. But this works for me. I like it. And what we're going to do is just name it Fruity and then send that to the keyboard. It has indeed been sent successfully to my keyboard and you can see it came up Fruity. That's how you know it worked. So let's see, now we got, you know, my, my uh, modulation wheel over here is set on channel zero. I got the um, first one set to global the uh, bounce back pitch wheel and that's just so that you know the middle is zero and it kind of you know because you can set it to pitch bend there's like different settings that you can use in order to get exactly what you want out of these knobs and controls so um, basically at this point you just open up your fruity loops your FL studio which I'm doing right now just things in the way all right so then you get your fl studio open i got 12 i like the new one definitely definitely uh, a nice upgrade a couple things different but ultimately i can live with them i think and um you know so now you just open up your um fruity loops and you just want to go to MIDI settings and set your MIDI settings. This is something you're already going to have to do just because you're going to bounce back between this and the preset editor a little bit to make sure everything's syncing up and working right. But go to code 49, send master sync. Then you go down to MIDI out three, code 49, set send to master sync as well. I don't know why you don't do anything with two and four. That's just what I heard somebody on the internet say about how you should set it up and it worked for me well. So I kept it that way. I set the input to code 49. I did the same thing with the MIDI in three. Um, I leave the ports like this. I leave them blank, not with zeros, but blank. And then I restart the whole thing after I set my controller type. Again, most people tell me to use the Mackie Control Universal. I had no luck with that, so I just used the M Audio Oxygen 4961, and that's because it had the key bed set into it already, so um, works for me. So I just set both that, the Code 49 and the MIDI N3 to that. And like I said, keep that blank, keep that blank for both of them. And then when you restart your Fruity Loops, it'll auto assign those to the ports. And that's just how I know kind of like everything worked. And at that point, you can now start assigning knobs. Um, that's, you know, a, a whole nother matter, but ultimately you just click on this button, then you click the knobs that you want to change or assign. And then you can go up here, right click, and then just link to controller. It'll open it up for you. And the next thing, the next three things that you do, will assign it to the three that you chose. So that'll get you through things pretty quickly as far as assigning knobs and things like that. And then uh, I have a template set up, so it's just kind of like automatically all my MIDI settings to this keyboard you know this preset are all automatically in there 
So that way, when I open it up, I've got my keyboard working. My pad working. And that's just another quick thing. If you're setting up your keyboard, that should automatically, you know, be assigned to the synth. The synth should automatically pick that up. But the um, keypad, I set all of my FPC notes to very low notes. I set all these pads to very, very low notes just because I knew I would never be playing them. So they were out of the way uh, of all the other channels and all the other notes. And I, what you want to do is see this little thing on here? It says MIDI note. Um, what you got to do is once you have a, make sure you set your FPC the way you like it so that it has like all the pads you like and all that kind of stuff. And then what you do is you go here and you're just going to uh, map notes for the entire bank. And when you map notes for the entire bank, then you're able to just quickly tell it what the notes are. And that will fill your entire bank in an instant automatically links up so that's nice i like that too just thought i'd throw that in there for my boy sean he was asking about that the other day so now we're going to go to the mixer that's all set up you can set these buttons up to anything now um because once you set it, it, these are just like I set these for min and max. So basically, when you hit one of them, it's just kind of like a mute button. Um, I set that up to all the channels because unfortunately, you can't get these to assign to buttons. I wish you could, but that's just the downside of Fruity Loops, I guess. But that being said, Pretty happy with my purchase of the M Audio. It's a pretty good keyboard, all in all. I'm starting to learn, learn to play the keys. So, yeah, it's just a beginner kind of thing, and it's a good beginner kind of keyboard. So, I like it. I can't get the tracking buttons to work at all. Sorry, anybody that was sticking it out to learn how to set that up, I uh, apologize. It's, I cannot get them for the life of me to sync up with the MIDI clock and the. Fruity Loops, anybody that can, please send me a link, send me a video, send me anything that tells me how to get this to work better than I have it working now, because that would be awesome. But that being said, I got it to the point where I need it. That's all I need. So, toodles.